Hello, uh, welcome to my new flat in Manchester. Um, <clears throat> I've just moved in here, um, and I've just received this today. It's the first of the Southern Pacific uh, daylight cars from Broadway Limited. Uh, the same people who made my California Zephyr cars. And um, <clears throat> based on how impressive they were, I'd already been thinking about a get, getting a sort of fairly cheap version of the Southern Pacific um, passenger cars from Concorde or something and then doing them up. But I saw that these were so impressive that I decided maybe I'll, only, I'll get a couple of these and then fill the rest in with uh, sort of slightly cheaper cars. So in other words, I'd probably only get about three or four of these and then maybe another two would, I, you know, I wouldn't bother getting the baggage or something because those aren't the most interesting ones. Anyway, let's take a look. So first, first things first, <coughs> uh, packaging is, is uh, it's okay. It's still sort of Hornby-ish standard, I think. Um, at least they don't put sort of wrapping paper and stuff around the car. At least they do have a kind of plasticky protector thing. Um, right. Uh, you get little instructions with it on it, how to put everything together. And, well, there we are. That, by the way, this box here is my E8, which goes in the same colour scheme as you can see, which I'll get out and uh, maybe I'll, I'll run at some point. The only place I'll have to actually run trains um, for the next, for, you know, for the foreseeable future is, well, right on that floor there, which is certainly large enough, but, you know, I'll only be able to have it out for the day. I'll probably just sort of have it round here, just, you know, for an afternoon or so and then take it away again. Just long enough to do a sort of testing review video or something. Um, and then I'll uh, pack it away again. But, um, you know, it's enough for the moment, I think. Anyway, so just look at that. What's really nice is that they've picked out certain things in really high detail, like there's these um, steps here with little grab irons. Um, the back as well is very nicely done. There's a, uh, let's have a look. Yeah, there's the, uh, that's the identification plate that says daylight on it, for, you know, which is the name of the train. Same as that. You know, that's, that's very nice detail. Some Pacific lines. Uh, I got the pre-war one because it was slightly cheaper. Um, and also because I don't really mind. I can run it with, with the E8, no problem. Um, I can just pretend it's an older an older car or something. Um, another nice bit of detail, that's a diaphragm on the back, which is removable, so if you've got a slightly smaller layout, you can remove those and uh, you know, quite easily. They just they just come off the back, see? So I think I'll just, and then you can just stick it in the box. And then you can put them back on when you want uh, sort of <coughs> more detail. And you've got a slightly bigger layout. Alright, I'll show you the lighting now. Right, I've uh, taken the tripod stand off the camera just so you can we can get down real close to it and just see how impressive it is. All right, here come the lights. Now just look at that. That's uh, absolutely amazing. Now one thing they've done which is even better than the last one is that, that they've done not only these marker lights here, which are both red and green, um, the rear Mars light and the daylight which for once actually it's not so bright that you can't read it on a camera it's actually it's actually quite readable um, I think they've done that very well um, not only that but they've done fully painted interiors I mean that's that's a real sort of added bonus there I've never seen um, I've never seen them do that before so yeah I think that's a that's a really impressive addition these cost about, oh, I don't know, $80 each, something like that. Um, <coughs> sorry, no, that's rubbish. 70 maybe $70, um, which translates into pounds. If you roughly take a third off of that, um, I, think I, got, I think I got mine for about £50. Pounds. Um, it wasn't too bad. Um, considering I'm only buying one at a time, I'm not buying a bunch of them, I can kind of... Because these aren't coming out very regularly. I think there's, they're not, the next one's not till November or something, so I've got plenty of time to sort of 
um, save money up for the next one or, or whatever it is. Um, so yeah, very impressive indeed. Um, I think it'll have to be a 10 out of 10 for this one. And I'll, I'll try and find some running videos uh, at some point to go around with it. Alright, see you next time.